Hey guys, Ryan with Fluid Health and Fitness. Today showing you how to use self myofascial release for the quad, radius, lumborum, the QL muscle. Remember the QL is the spinal extensor and lateral flexor. To find the muscle, you can stand up, take your thumbs, put them right along the sides of the spine on the erector group, the big columns of muscle, and then just go offset to the sides a little bit, push into your love handle area, and then tip over and you'll feel that muscle tension under your thumb the lateral flexor and extensor. So we're gonna put the ball in that area. The muscle stretches as your leg goes into extension. So I would be C curving to the contralateral side and lifting my hip up to stretch it. So when we do a pin and stretch technique like we're gonna do with this ball today, you just wanna make sure you have the understanding of where the biomechanics are in order to get the effective stretch on that tissue. So I'm gonna place this right in that small of my back in that love handle area. Always want the muscle to be soft to start. So again, Knees flexed, I'm concaved over to the left a little bit, and it's just pressing into that little area. Now again, there should be no pain. The pressure on the muscle should take the slack out of the muscle, pulling on the tendon, and that pressure eventually over time will trigger an inhibition, which means the muscle is gonna soften and relax. The tension in the tissue will just subside, and it'll be easier to stretch through, so it'll sink. Once you get to that sinking sensation, you can start to move through it. So to do that, you can extend the leg, crunch down, and laterally tip to the contralateral side, the opposite side. So I'm C-curving to the opposite side, balls under the left side. Take it to the first barrier for that stretch resistance. So spongy, not taut, not painful. It'll tension up the muscle, because again, the stretch receptors are gonna kick in and the nervous system's gonna tense it up. You're gonna hold it there. You can support your head if you need to and then they'll soften again. Wait for the neural system to relax before you stretch through it to go deeper. That's an important technique or tip because if we go too far and we don't respect the stretch resistance, it'll rip the muscle in an attempt to soften and relax it, and that's actually gonna do more harm than good. So we wanna be careful of that when we're doing these applications. Once again, that was called a pin and stretch or a passive to active inhibition using a, a lacrosse ball to get the job done. Questions on this technique, make sure to reach out to us at admin at fluidhealthandfitness.com.